Across the history of the human race, certain nations have grown into international empires, the leaders of the world. The very name of the Romans, the Ottomans, or the Mongolians are synonymous with power, but in our new world, a new nation is on the rise. The nation of Molossia. Oxford Dictionary defines a micronation as a small area or political entity that claims national sovereignty but is not recognized by other sovereign states. Throughout the years, various micronations have appeared. They range from a rock hut on an empty fishing island, more affectionately known as the Principality of Outer Baldonia, to the Principality of Marlboro, a failed attempt at avoiding the penalties of bankruptcy. But one of the most robust micronations is the Republic of Molossia. From humble beginnings on May 26, 1977, Molossia was originally known as the Grand Republic of Voldstein. It was founded by its own King James I and his friend, Prime Minister Kevin Baugh. Sheets of currency from the National Mint can still be found, as well as remains of the rigorous citizenship test. Later that year, the nation suffered a crippling yet unavoidable event, which spelled out certain doom for the whole country. King James moved to a different school. Lying dormant, the nation underwent many name and location changes until, finally, on September 3rd of 1999, the nation resurfaced when Kevin Baugh declared the Republic of Molossia in northern Nevada. Because of its universally feared military power, few nations even had the courage to interact with Molossia, almost as if they did not even know of its existence. No nations had the courage to challenge Molossia until its next major conflict in 2006. In a disheartening betrayal, former friend of President Baugh, a Sultan Ali, claimed the land where Molossia exists as belonging instead to himself. This began the war against Mustachistan. The naval front played a crucial role in the war as Molossia's best canoe and kayak class naval ships warded off the Mustachistani fleet at Lake Jean. On May 29, 2006, the fearless Molossian infantry trudged through the harsh terrain of sagebrush juniper trees, and even rocks in Black Lizard Canyon. Ambushed by the Mustachistanis, the Molossians were forced to take cover, but in typical Molossian fashion, they gathered their courage and charged, forcing their opponents to retreat. Another victory for Molossia. In the final battle of the war, Molossia launched a daring assault on the Mustachistani forces at Mosquito Bend at 9 a.m., Molossian Standard Time. After a successful ambush and pursuit, they cornered the Mustachistani forces until a surrender. Removing all troops near Molossia, the nation of Mustachistan surrendered on June 8, 2006, agreeing to pay reparations in the form of cookie dough, one tube per month for six months, amounting to six whole tubes. While a military superpower, Molossia is also full of culture. They have their own measurement system, the Koken system, from the Norton, which is the length of the president's hand, to the Fenwick, about as heavy as one large Pillsbury cookie dough tube. Their measurements are practical and logical. The beautiful nation of Molossia hosts many attractions, such as the Molossia Tiki Hut Bar and Grill, serving food for almost a twelfth of a century. The restaurant serves high-quality burgers, open when we're here and closed when we're not. The nation of Molossia is a marvel of both military and governmental design, so when Molossia takes over the world, I, for one, will praise our new leader. I pledge allegiance to Molossia, my home, my land, my heart. Mighty and magnificent, from Molossia I'll never part.